All right, this is uh, just a quick cleaning of uh, my mother-in-law's Smith & Wesson, little air weight, 38 caliber. It's actually a really nice gun. Um, a lot of ladies like this one. It's a five shot, 38 special. Perfect for purse, home defense, that kind of thing. Uh, and revolvers are generally pretty simple to clean. Um, just squirt down with some solvent. Any place where there might be some carbon buildup. And let it sit for a little bit. Shows up a little bit better. All right. All right. We'll go ahead and show you. That's what we're using is uh, Shooter's Lube, which we're testing this out for the first time tonight on a couple of different weapons. It's gotten rave reviews all over the internet, and we decided to give it a shot. Um, I used to use hops or rim oil. Um, as my primary cleaning stuff, um, SDI, when I graduated from their school, they gave me a really good uh, oh, Otis kit with everything. Uh, but this is kind of a simple cleaning job, so I'm not overly worried about getting that in-depth on it. This is just basically a yearly preventative. Okay. All right, I think that's probably set there for enough. What the, honey, what do they recommend the, when you read the instructions? It, it doesn't really recommend a time. I mean, it, it set it on if, you know, it'll, yeah. it'll clean it. And... Yeah. So. I'll just get in there around the chamber. Or the, where the barrel meets the cylinder. It's supposed to be great on breaking up carbon. They say if you have extra buildup, just to spray it again and it'll come off. Yeah. So. You see, I don't... This is like the only titanium gun I've ever had. <laughs> so, uh, but it does seem to get that stuff off there real well. I'm going to go ahead and take a patch. This is one of my military issue nine millimeter rods. You got these in a military surplus store just about anywhere. Now this this revolver has not had a crap ton of ammo shot through it, just enough to get her used to using it in case she needed it for home defense. Right. You want to make sure that you get all five of those chambers. It's a five shot six shooter. Now what a lot of people don't realize is a 9mm, a 30, uh, 38 Special, and a 357 Magnum are all the same diameter of bullet. Um, a lot of people don't know that, so you can use the same 30 caliber uh, bore snakes and cleaning rods and cleaning patches with all three of them. It's a really versatile caliber. So I'm going to go ahead and just snake it real good. I could probably just do that with the... It's just easier mm, since I like to go. Than I thought it was. Huh? It was dirtier than I thought it was. A little bit, yeah. All right, I'm gonna clean this cylinder spring and your firing pin hole. Okay. Got the clean patch here. And the reason I like using four snakes is it's easier just to go straight through the bar uh, breach to barrel, into the barrel. And then get the last of this off. And she is clean. Good deal. Alright. Revolvers are a little bit 
interesting when you're as far as lubing them up because they do have quite a few. Let me go ahead and get that while I'm thinking about it. Your your extraction. Um, because they do have a lot of places that actually make metal on metal contact. And you want to make sure that none of it gets corroded. So, we're going to go ahead and do some lubrication. We're going to go ahead and use the extreme weapons oil that they put out. And they recommend that when you use this stuff that you put it on and leave it for 15 minutes. Um, I haven't ever seen anything that required that. So, just to meet. So, I'm going to get that ejection rod. That get in there and cover those surfaces real good. Okay, so we're just gonna so we're lubricating. on there and that's basically it for that gun so she's clean 